The second half of 2013 kicks off with exciting new training for July. Pick from over 40 new courses, including nine in the fifth and final week of the month. Start the week with two new Quick Start volumes. In volume four of Quick Start to Modeling in 3DS Max, learn how to create advanced control loops that will be crucial for hard surface modeling and go deeper with graphite modeling tools that will speed up your workflow and finish the highly detailed model that can be used in your narrative scene. Follow volume two of Quick Start to Rigging in Maya and start getting familiar with working with expressions. Learn the important topic of rotation order and how it can be used to prevent gimbal lock issues, techniques for cleaning up transformation values on constrained objects, how to set up dynamic parenting systems to make your rigs more flexible, and more. Jump into the cloud with a new course on your first day with Photoshop Creative Cloud. Quickly get up and running with the latest version of Photoshop while learning about key tools, terminology, and workflows that are important to understand from day one. Stay in the cloud and begin your first day with Illustrator Creative Cloud. Keep learning about key tools, terminology, and workflows, and learn about a variety of topics including color, effects, rulers and guides, layers and object organization, as well as methods for building complex shapes. Watch advanced training on creating a flexible lip syncing rig in Cinema 4D. Discover new techniques to speed up your rigging and animation workflow and create a semi-automatic lip sync performance within minutes. See how to rig all the different parts of the face in preparation for lip syncing, as well as get a good introduction to the pose morph tag. Keep learning advanced techniques and workflows in an in-depth course on creating realistic and effective product renders in Maya. Uncover detailed product modeling techniques, as well as effective lighting, shading, and rendering to create an effective product presentation within a tight deadline. Learn how you can use thinking particles in 3ds Max to start destroying assets. Get a quick introduction to thinking particles, then follow the process of destroying an animated character and adding more debris dust particles, and creating a dust simulation using fume effects. Watch more new updated Nuke training with a new course on your first day of rotoscoping in Nuke. Learn the basics of one of the most valuable compositing techniques and master a skill that every Nuke artist needs to know. End the week by creating industrial design concepts with Sketchbook Designer. Learn as you go from a simple sketch and walk step by step through building a refined version of the concept. Get a strong idea of how vectors and pixels can be used together inside of Sketchbook Designer to create stunning industrial design concepts. In the fourth week of the month, eight new courses are released. Follow the third volume of the new Quick Start to Modeling in 3ds Max and learn about numerous tools and techniques needed to create high poly models. See how to effectively use the Turbo Smooth modifier and how to use the graphite modeling tools to speed up your workflow jump into another new Quick Start learning path with the new Quick Start to Rigging in Maya. Watch volume one and start the first assignment to help you learn more powerful rigging tools, how to create joints, work with inverse kinematics, skinning tools, and much more. Go from introductory training to five advanced courses for subscribers. Start with a new course on creating a game-ready monster insect in ZBrush and 3ds Max. See how to develop a detailed killer monster insect from scratch, from creating the high poly mesh, retopologizing it in topo gun, baking textures, and finalizing the asset for rigging. Give your insect monster or another game boss a worthy final battle scene with designing a boss battle environment in Photoshop. Learn key tips and tricks for painting digital game environments, as well as what to pay attention to in order to have an effective and engaging design. See how you can get stunning results for creating a matte painting of an architectural visualization and compositing an aerial scene in Photoshop and 3ds Max. Discover the necessary techniques as well as more tips and tricks to execute faster and with better results. Go deeper into Nuke with a new course on advanced compositing techniques in Nuke Space Scene. Use basic masking, advanced 3D matte painting techniques, expression scripting, and solid compositing practices to create your scene based on real-world production experiences. Watch animating a geometric design in After Effects and create a short animation composed of geometric shapes and patterns using After Effects and no third-party plugins. Learn skills such as offsetting layers to develop interesting animations, using blend modes to build up textures, using curves in the graph editor to get smooth movement, and more. 
follow more comprehensive two-boom harmony training and start utilizing the morphing features. Learn to create in-between drawings that can save you a lot of time with your animations, as well as the importance of designing your key drawings for your morphing sequences. In the third week of the month, nine new courses are released. Start the week by beginning the first two volumes of the Quick Start to Modeling in 3ds Max Learning Path. Learn about modeling in 3ds Max in a very methodical, step-by-step -step way, making sure to cover the tools and techniques that are most important in getting you up and running quickly. In Volume 1, subscribers will get familiar with the most commonly used tools for modeling in 3ds Max, while also learning the why behind each technique. In Volume 2, learn about polygonal modeling and how this technique will allow you to have more control over topology and how to get the exact details you want for your models. Stay in 3ds Max and learn about creating crowds with Populate in 3ds Max. Discover how this new tool can be used to simulate crowds, as well as tips for adding realism to your scenes, applying our own textures, adding accessories to characters, and more. Get an advanced look at creating a retro space girl in Maya and Modo. Follow a proven process for taking a rough concept piece and turning it into a stylized 3D render, all while adding new techniques to your skill set and learning about new features in Moto 701. Watch more advanced training in a new course on creating a gasoline explosion in Maya. Learn about the aesthetic and technical dynamics of a gasoline explosion and how to confidently create your own explosions in Maya, as well as the byproducts of the explosion using particles with Maya 3D fluids. New Mudbox training takes a detailed look at sculpting human ears. Get a strong understanding of the structure of the ear and become more comfortable creating and sculpting ears for your own human characters. Follow an updated introduction to channels in Nuke. Learn about the fundamentals of channels, how Nuke uses channels to store image information through a node tree, and how to start using channels for your own projects. Watch Introduction to Sketchbook Designer 2014 and get quickly up to speed on working inside of Sketchbook Designer. Learn how to customize the Sketchbook Designer canvas, use a layer-based workflow for both paint and vector layers, and customize brushes for both paint and vectors to start creating detailed work. Keep learning about Toon Boom Harmony and how you can start working with 3D. Follow the process from getting an overview of the camera, perspective, side, and top views in the Harmony interface to activating your 3D token license and importing 3D models. In the second week of the month, we release eight new courses. Start the week with an updated introduction to Mental Ray in Maya. Discover what it takes to start becoming an efficient and productive rendering artist in Maya while learning two different methods for simulating realistic indirect lighting in Maya, both Global Illumination and Final Gather. Get an advanced look at creating a photorealistic automotive render in 3ds Max. Understand what to look for when creating a realistic automotive rendering, how to create tileable textures and stencils for painting the environment, and new lighting techniques to push your image even further. Start your first day of tracking in Nuke and learn about this powerful part of the compositing pipeline. Get familiar with the three main types of tracking while following along with some practical examples like title integration, image stabilization, and screen replacement. Watch Sculpting Human Noses in Mudbox and understand how noses can be built and sculpted in Mudbox to realistically complete a human model. Take an introductory look at rigging in Softimage and get comfortable enough to utilize Softimage's rigging features to build your own control rigs. Learn the basics like creating a solid naming convention, to covering advanced topics like enveloping and weight painting techniques. Start texturing with PTEX in Mari 2.0 and learn how to paint textures without the need for UVs. Begin flexing Mari's new layer system and utilize procedural layers, adjustment layers, and mass groups. Watch a proven workflow for creating compelling environment concepts in Photoshop. Combine stock photos and painting techniques to create a compelling environment concept and cover fundamental aspects like lighting, composition, depth and scale. Keep learning about the possibilities of Toon Boom Harmony with an introduction to particles. Get a good understanding of how particles can be generated, rendered, and affected in Toon Boom Harmony and start creating your own particles. In the first week of the month, we announce new Quick Start learning paths with the release of the complete Quick Start to ZBrush. These five volume learning paths help students and artists quickly and confidently get up and running with a new software or subject. As you follow along, you learn proven techniques, workflows, and complete a project with hands-on exercises and assignments 
that help you practice the concepts covered. Begin the quick start to ZBrush this week with Volume 1 and learn about the ZBrush interface, navigating, and working with primitive geometry. In Volume 2, you'll learn about topics such as advanced primitive creation techniques, polygroups, and look at some character-specific sculpting techniques. Continue to Volume 3 where you'll learn about applying and manipulating materials, from learning about polypainting to texturing the project's character and new base pieces. In Volume 4, discover how to use the powerful DynaMesh feature, how it can aid in quick mesh design, and how to use some of ZBrush's powerful brushes. The Quick Start learning path ends in Volume 5, where subscribers will learn to pose models, use 3D layers to add detail in a very flexible way, and end with a high-quality rendered turntable of the completed character sculpt. More new training this week covers an advanced look at creating and rigging a low-poly robot in 3ds Max and Photoshop. Follow along and learn techniques to create a low-poly model, texture it, make different variations of robots using the parts from the main model, and then rig it using 3ds Max's Character Animation Toolkit. Watch an updated course on getting started with Nuke. This first course in a reboot of introductory Nuke training follows a step-by-step -step project for learning about basic nodes and techniques that are essential to every compositor's workflow. Learn new techniques for automotive rendering and compositing in Photoshop and Keyshot. See how to add realistic motion blur to a static backplate and utilize the speed of Keyshot with HDR Light Studio to create the renders necessary for a final composite in Photoshop. Start enhancing your rigs with Driven Keys in Maya. Explore a variety of ways Driven Keys can be used to improve how your rigs function and learn reliable workflows that use Driven Keys to get the results you want from your control rigs. End the week with a new course on traditional animation techniques in Toon Boom Harmony. Learn how to begin using some of the powerful tools that Toon Boom has to offer for creating your own traditional styled animations. Don't miss out on July's new training and over a thousand more courses to push your creative limits. Sign in or sign up today and access all of the latest training in the world's largest creative training library. Digital Tutors, teaching the people who make movies and games.